is now in the morning we wanted to go to some class but as you can see there are lightnings and lightnings so we will go later or tomorrow we will see now it's definitely too dangerous to go Yes, we wanted to start at about 5.30 and now it's uh, 7.30 and it's still thunderstorms and the weather looks really unpredictable. I think it's better to stay and go tomorrow. The zoo is a little bit tired because last night was a little bit shaky on boat with some waves and lightnings. And I'm repairing the dinghy motor once again because it's getting so slow. I think there is some dirt inside so I have to open this part here and look again in the dinghy motor. Now we will have a test ride if this ugly machine is like a speed motor again. Yeah, today we are leaving very early, it's uh, 5.30 and we are heading to San Blas again and so we decided to leave earlier to have more from the rest of the day in some plus. We have now 7.30. The wind has picked up a little bit, so it's nice because I could use the five. We did some nice porridge with bananas and egg. And Vita and Alina and Sue already woke up. Now we have breakfast. We are uh, going really fast today because we had a little bit wind, so we hit uh, about 6.5 notes. I have a new route to the San Blas Islands now, so we are going a little bit faster today. And sometimes, if the waves hit the boat from the side, the boat can move a little bit. This is the time when I'm under deck to do the work inside and all the girls stay outside. But this time my housework was interrupted because once again dolphins swam to the boat to surf the waves. It is always a pleasure to see these elegant animals surfing the waves beside the boat.
now we see a lot of things. So nice. Yeah, this is the first time we're going with both tails and we are making six notes. So, very nice. Uh, I tried to install the wind fane, but uh, during sailing it's not possible. You have to go in the wind and do it on. And so, we'll try it next time. And after some really nice sail, we had really good wind for about two or three hours. We are back in the San Blas Island here in Lemon Cave. And now we have a delicious lunch and dinner combination. And today we saw some dolphins. They were really nice and they passed by our boat in about 10 minutes, I think. And yeah, five to 10 minutes. Yeah. And tomorrow we'll uh, head on to the Holland Day case again, maybe for some kite surfing. If you go out, you only see nice islands. Yes, I like to wake up in the morning, go out and see this nice surrounding and to start the day with some stretching. After a good morning swim and some power pancakes, we decided to discover new islands. But before we reached the island, we discovered a shallow place with hundreds of starfish. Just awesome! Yes, and now we are landed on a very small island here in the lemon case. There are no kuna living on. I think they just use the island for burning the trash, the rubbish. And maybe they are taking some water here. It's very nice because there are no people. This is really looking nice here. Playing with uh, playing 
I'm not playing. I have a new friend. Her name is Susie, and she is a I am sick. <laughs> she is a little. The girls bought some nice jewelry, some corner jewelry. Vita, Alina, and Sue. Some nice butterflies. Now we stayed some uh, time on the Sun Plus Island. So, what do you say about it? All in all, it's very beautiful because here in San Blas, it's um, the weather is very fine and good. And if and when we stay in, in Linden, it's not scary. Yeah, and also the water is very clean and beautiful. So I really like it here. Yeah, but I think we don't. You, if you want to go to San Blas, you don't have to stay more than one month there because I think it's a bit important if you see all the islands. Because you don't have friends here. Yeah, and you, have, you don't have friends. Not so much... Uh, internet. <laughs> yeah, no so, internet yeah. there. And Vita, what do you think about the Sun Plaza Islands? What's your, what are your impressions? Yeah, um, Carolina said it's really beautiful because the sea all the beaches are really, um, the sand is white and the sea is really blue and also when you go snorkeling you see like the reef, really beautiful fishies and starfishes but how Alina said after two weeks or yeah two weeks it's really boring because only thing you see is like the sand and the palm trees and it's a nice islands and a nice island it, it's nice but yeah you need more abwechslung is different you, uh, diversity you, you, you need more different yeah i need, I need more, different uh, i think i need more city and but for one week it's okay. Yes, I like the uh, San Blas Islands very much because they're really very different from all the other uh, nature which I have seen here in Panama. It's a total different area. And for sailing it's really a big challenge because Sometimes you have so shallow water and you have to go inside and look on the map, so it's also a challenge, but it's very nice. A nice challenge. And yeah, the Holland Day case I like most because they're, they're really natural. You don't have so much thunderstorms and lightnings as in Panama on the mainland. And yeah, I liked it a lot. And even if it's sometimes boring for the girls here because they don't have friends or an internet connection here, I'm convinced that in some weeks, months or years, they will be glad to have experienced this adventure. In the next episode of The Sailing Family, we will sail with the Hydrophane for the first time so we all can enjoy sailing big time. We will discover new islands and we have to eat a lot of coconuts because we run out of food again. Do you want to see more of the sailing family? Then become a Patreon now and check this out. The Sailing Family VIP area for Patreons only. So subscribe to our channel, please support us on Patreon and see you next time.
Peace, love and follow your dreams.